on my window. <laughs> well, the porch. Uh, it's so reflecting nice the, the trees. Oh. I think it is preparing. All right, I believe we are live. Awesome, awesome. All right. Um, hey, everybody. Just wanted to uh, uh, hope everybody is staying safe with uh, everything that's going on in the world. But we have uh, some fantastic news. We, um, we are growing in the Auburn, Alabama real estate market. And uh, we just wanted to uh, let everybody know all the great things going on. So Matt, Evan, do y'all want to take away and introduce our new partners in uh, EXP? Yeah, Gusty, man, we appreciate it. And we are uh, definitely excited to announce uh, this group of, of agents here. Um, awesome agents. They're a uh, good addition to EXP Realty and, and Again, Evan and I just want to thank you, Gusty, and you, Jenny, um, for helping with us and collaborating and, uh, and getting this group uh, of amazing agents. Over here. So uh, today we have uh, Natalie Bass, uh, Carol Kirby, um, Laura Tabor, uh, Alicia Smirsky, and I'm sorry if I butchered that last name. Yeah, you did good. <laughs> and uh, Allison Galbraith. So... Uh, you know, guys, we're excited to have you join uh, join us over here at EXP, and and we just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit and and see, you know, ask you the reason why you made the move to EXP, and uh, and just tell us a little bit about yourselves as well. So, uh, Natalie, why don't you uh, start us off? Okay, well, I wouldn't be a true Auburn fan if I didn't say that I wasn't stoked about our colors. So to start off, I am very excited to come back to some orange and blue, and I know everybody in our group is. Um, but no, I consider this a promotion. Um, financially, there's a lot of benefit. I'm super excited that as an experienced agent and as we all continue to grow, that there are going to be um, rewards for that growth. And so that is very encouraging. Um, but even right out of the gate, there's already some things that are beneficial. Um, so I'm very, I'm very thrilled for that. Um, but I think it's really encouraging that it's a forward thinking company and you're excited about it. Um, there's so many resources from people to classes, just um, all kinds of stuff out there. And it's just still just flowing in um, every day, every hour. So um, that has been great. And that's exciting to know that um, that burden's not on us and that y'all are looking ahead and excited about that. Um, so really this change is, um, with all that said, it is pushing me personally to the next level. Anytime you make a change, I think you kind of revisit what you've been doing and and analyze. So that's been that's been good for me as a personal um, goal to kind of step up and, and make some updates to everything I've got going on. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, we all love to be challenged and, uh, you know, moving over to a new company, especially a company like EXP and and uh, how they're the, on the forefront of being a virtual company um, is, is amazing. So, Carol, how about you? Uh, what, you know, tell us why you came over to EXP and tell us a little bit about yourself as well. You know, Matt, we did a lot of research. We asked questions. We read articles. We, um, we really were interested in following what um, some of the market leaders were doing. And so when we saw that some people that we respected in real estate were making those changes, we thought maybe this is something that we need to take a look at. Um, and once we started diving into the company, we were just kind of amazed at what was out there that we had no idea about. And I think part of it for me was just knowing that I needed an option um, to be able to plan for retirement. And I think that some of the things that EXP offers um, give me that option to be able to plan. And it's exciting to know that I can start right now today investing um, in a retirement plan for me through some of the company stock options. Um, you know, through revenue share, there's just a lot that EXP has that I have not found with any other company. And I was thrilled about that and thrilled that um, I could join some market leaders um, on the front end. But even though they're growing so fast, we're still kind of in the early stages of the company. So that was really exciting for me. That we are. That's awesome. And uh, Laura Tabor, uh, you tell, tell us about yourself and uh, kind of why you decided to join EXP with us. Hey, hi. So hey. For, me, it, for me, it was a little bit different because I was happy where I was. I was comfortable where I was and I wasn't looking for anything else, but I thought I would be foolish not to listen. So um, I went to the meeting with Gusty and Jenny. And when I left that day, 
I knew I would be moving companies. Um, and I'm very pleased after only one week that I did. I mean, I think everybody knows here that I'm probably the most technically challenged person. <laughs> hey, 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 that was my title. <laughs> So, um, clear that up ahead. <laughs> so I always feel like I'm, you know, a little behind or catching up, but I'll get there. I, I definitely make progress every day and um, so happy to be here. That's sure, all. sure, sure. We're happy, we're happy to have you. Um, so let's, sure, let's move on to well, uh, that, that is a pretty back. solid <laughs> shirt right there. I like that. <laughs> that one, one, one thing I did. Yeah, I want Laura, to do Laura let's see the shirt real quick. You got to put the whole thing in there. There you go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, one thing, man, I wanted to jump in. If anybody has any questions that they want to put into the live feed, uh, feel free to to throw that in. We'll uh, we'll try to get some stuff answered. If anybody has any questions, that's great. We appreciate that. And uh, so, Alicia, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, why you decided to join EXP. Uh, well, I was excited. I was ready for a change and. I, we did a lot of research, like Carol said. We asked a lot of questions. And we probably wore you and Evan out with our questions. <laughs> and, uh, but we just wanted to know that we, we had done our homework and we wanted to make a good decision uh, for our families and for our business. Um, and I think we all walked away from the meeting that day realizing that this is what we need to do. This was the next step. Um, mm. The, the technology that, you know, it's all next level. And our minds have been blown this past week with the resources and how easy it is to, even though it is virtual, um, how easy it is to get in touch with someone and get questions answered. It's very quick, very timely. Um, we, we just, the whole, the whole setup has just been amazing. Um, very exciting, uh, the excitement from everyone on the team, it's catching. Um, and it's, you know, we, we wanted to be a part of this new growing company that uh, was new to our area. Um, we wanted to jump on board now, be one of the first ones here in Auburn. That's right. And we agree, you know, Evan and I have uh, been with the company now for two and a half, three months. And, and uh, we, we just keep learning every day. And uh, it's awesome with the education it, it has and things like that. And we'll go a little bit more into that. But first, let's... Uh, Let's go, uh, let's ask Allison. Allison, so uh, we appreciate you being here and uh, just wanted to let, you know, see why you decided to join EXP and, uh, and tell us a little bit about yourself as well. Well, if someone had told me about six years ago that I would be here, I wouldn't have believed it because um, I went into real estate five years ago after a career in counseling and which is very helpful in in real estate of yes, course. <laughs> <laughs> but I never could have imagined this and I um I feel more experienced and was wanting something a little different in terms of the financial options like Carol mentioned and um that was really important to me. I that was very attractive to me that I could um, have those options financially. The technology is unreal and we are rising to the challenge. <laughs> yes, we are. Maybe some days are a little more challenging than others, <laughs> but we are doing it and learning it. And it's just amazing what the technology is and all that EXP offers that make that make us better realtors, I think. And um, EXP is the future of real estate and it's happening right now. And so that was a, a big factor in choosing where to go. So I'm really happy to be here, excited um, and just really can't wait to really get moving with everything seeing it all come together we love the world i love the world <laughs> you love changing her outfit to the world. i love her avatar <laughs> changed my outfit again this morning i was still in my soccer uh, game 
outfit <laughs> from last week. Probably change, probably change an avatar clothes more than actual clothes at this point. Right? That's right. right. That's funny. Planning out her post quarantine outfit. <laughs> Uh, we, just, we really appreciate all of the help you guys have given us. We know we've had a ton of questions. And uh, so it's been very appreciative to have so much support. Well, we appreciate all of you and uh, and making the move over to EXP. It is, it is an awesome company. And I'll have to say, you know, what you, you touched on a little bit, what you just said there with the support and help, you know, it's not your traditional style company however it's not as in i've seen more support out of these agents that are not in one you know brick and mortar building the, these people are all across the nation and they're just so happy to help and communicate with us and uh you know really help us um you know boost our business and and, and everything and that's one thing that that i keep i'm just in awe of every day and it just more and more people come out of the woodworks and say, hey, we're here, we're, we're ready to help you. And been, be a part of a company that's like that is just amazing. I've been have, uh, I've been texting with Russ Legan this morning already. He's been, we've been just kind of catching up on everything market-wise of where he's at and, you know, just how everything's moving. And, and he's somebody that's not even, you know, in our upline, so to say, um, just somebody within the company that is just willing to reach out and help out and give some knowledge. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just been continuous as far as the more and more people we meet um, have just wanted to kind of help. And, and, and again, it's not even necessarily about their lines or anything. It's just helping with real estate and, and industry overall. And uh, so that's what I've been kind of motivated by. And then I guess, as you know, y'all mentioned the technology and the courses and things, that's something that, you know, once the the dust hadn't necessarily settled yet. We've been here for three months and, and now that it sort of has, and we've had this little bit more home, you know, life activity. Uh, I've, I've dove into a lot of those classes now. And I mean, they're extremely beneficial, <laughs> extremely helpful. And, you know, uh, some of the stuff of lead generating and some of the stuff, just, you know, how to, how to work with buyers easier listing presentations. There's just so many different classes going on um, that have just been, I mean, it's as if you went and paid for a seminar to go on a weekend, you know, real estate retreat somewhere and it's every day in your living room. So um, something that, you know, I, I'm kind of guilty of not, not having done before this happened. Um, it's been crazy, crazy helpful for us, I think. I just wanted to pop in and uh, we've had a few folks um, online uh, send over some welcomes. So uh, Michelle over in Atlanta, um, she has been at EXP, I know, for about uh, eight months and she runs a top team over there. She said welcome. Uh, Daniel Broderick, uh, he moved over his brokerage recently. He said welcome. And uh, Jackson, I know on my team up here in Birmingham said welcome. So, you know, what I think is cool is like the collaboration. Like you have people all around the country that really welcome you with open arms. And that's been one of the things that I've seen that has been uh, unique is um, it is very collaborative, even though we are one national company, one just one company, that everybody's in this together and everybody's um, um, you know being a cheerleader for everybody that's coming on because if everybody's winning guess what like stock goes up and that's going to benefit us so I think that's some it's it's always fun to see when people are just you know very welcoming um, I want to talk about like your onboarding process you know people um, people always get nervous about you know change right so how how, how was your onboarding process would you say Natalie? I would say that it was a bit bigger <laughs> of a Carol. monster than, well, no, I think we made it out to be a bigger monster than it was. Yes, it is a bit of a transition when you've never done anything like that before, but I felt like we had so many people there to offer guidance um, throughout the entire process. So we weren't just left in the dark to figure out how to do that. It was step by step well, by you were step. Very you were very well organized. Um, you had your um, onboarding checklist. I mean, very impressed. I mean, every one of you have mentioned the questions that you've asked um, just to make sure that it was a good fit before you moved over. The questions that you asked were so smart. I mean, y'all would ask them and then get together and talk about it more. So you knew it was a sure thing and very impressed with 
um, just how y'all have handled the whole transition and just the questions you ask and, and your follow up. I mean, y'all are super organized. You were like way ahead of the game. <laughs> we had to be. Most of us have little ones, and it's yeah. like if we don't have all this stuff organized, we'd be crazy. Busy lives. Well, uh, Evan, I think you and I had a little more hand holding. I don't know. Yeah, we did. We did. Well, you know, when they came on, it was a little more different of a situation, I guess. We couldn't okay. all necessarily meet, um, you know, somewhere and, and, and guide through. So we kind of did it in this format, which, which made it a little new for all of us, I think. So, um, you know, hopefully it was as smooth as we could do on the fly um, as far as zoom call wise but but yeah i think they they had a little more organization a little more and if it wasn't for megan we, we probably would still be trying to figure out a way to get yeah. the xp so uh <laughs> so, yeah i think we had our signs we were on top of it with signs for sure <laughs> we were, we, yeah. everything yeah I'm we wanted really to hit the hard. ground running yeah and mm -hmm. like and like natalie said we were very happy <laughs> That's with the colors. Yeah. Our signs are beautiful. Hi. Hi. Hey. Gotta bring my charger. I think it was big for us to say, for me especially, my whole goal was no interruption in business. No I, I wanted to I wanted it to be flawless for my sellers and for any buyers that I was working with, no interruption in business. And I think we were able to pretty much accomplish that. Mm -hmm. We have pulled that off for sure. I haven't had any issue with just it being seamless and our clients, I think, have been great um, mm -hmm. as we go through this change. So that's well, always great. <laughs> and it's, it's good that they're happy for you because like Natalie said, you know, this is kind of a promotion. Um, it's a financial promotion. It is an opportunity promotion and your clients should be thrilled that you get that because you can actually, you have more systems and innovation for them um, and flexibility as well. So, I mean, it's just a, it's, it's a win-win. I'm, I'm so glad that y'all asked the right questions, understood the business model and knew that you could make it work for you. It definitely helped um, for us to have each other, you know, during the onboarding and before, like you said, we, we put the questions together. We met multiple times. We would meet with you. We'd talk to you. We'd come back. We would discuss. We'd ask more questions. And then during the onboarding, we had each other as support. Um, and once the weekend came around, we had an instant concierge waiting for us. Hey, Travis, um, <laughs> on Monday, who's been great. So um, Very that has helped. Answer, yeah. We have a mean group text going. Not mean as in bad, just it's long. So <laughs> we get some business done in that group text. <laughs> All day long, every day. <laughs> Back to Kelly Colley and Jennifer Minyard as well. Because they and Brent. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've got a solid team all the way around uh, for our state. And, uh, you know, really, they don't get enough credit. Um, they, they put in a lot of hours. We have a lot of people behind the scenes helping us get paid super quick. And uh, so we, we have a great team statewide. So really. Yeah, excited. definitely need to give Jenny Lynn, a, <clears throat> Jenny Lynn a shout out and Kelly and Brent. But we've worn Jenny out, too. <laughs> we, we learned about Jennifer's Harley. And so I think that the five of us should learn how to ride a heart, <laughs> get our own heartbeats and get uh, matching jackets for EXP. That's because you already have one, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though, with all of the um, questions that we've asked and answers, we feel like that we are pretty well versed in sharing information about the entire process. And that was something that we were kind of excited about, too, is, hey, we're going to be able to actually hold hands and walk itty bitty steps with somebody through this entire onboarding process. So we're excited to bring folks on and let them share in what we found. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in saying that, so let, let's go dive into a little bit of the training since, um, you know, like everybody's mentioned, we're, we're kind of at, uh, you know, a stay at home um, right now. And so you have, you might have a little more free time than you did prior so uh, you might as well uh, take advantage of that and, and do all the training that you can um, get. I know, I know Evan has dived into uh, ePro. Of course, that's through, you know, NAR. But uh, 
but I'm doing the express offers, um, which is through EXP. And I know Jenny, you've completed that. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get through that as well and just be something else that we're able to uh, offer our clients, um, you know, having that express offers. And basically that's just like an iBuyer. buyer. Um, and uh, so, uh, so right now EXP has a, uh, a collaboration or, or a training passport um, going on and correct me if I'm wrong, it's through the end of May, correct? That's correct. So if there's any agents out there that are, are just one curious of EXP or want to take advantage, maybe they're at an independent company and they don't have the training, um, then uh, this allows them to utilize the training that EXP is given. And it's over 60 hours a week of training in, in the world. And, uh, and just, you know, reach out to one of, one of these agents here um, and, and ask for a passport. Um, and we can, uh, we can send you that passport and that'll give you online training um, through the end of May and they come out with uh, weekly training calendars. Um, so uh, we can also pass that, uh, that calendar on as well. Jenny, look like you wanted to say something. Mm -mm. No, I'm just. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had a thought process there. And, uh, just, uh, me, but just, uh, yeah, yeah, so reach out to, to any of these agents. Uh, we'll be happy to uh, send you that uh, guest passport. And also the weekly calendar of uh, training. And there's some uh, there's some awesome training, like Evan said, in there. So uh, to something me, to take advantage just, of, especially right now. You know, I think I think that's just something that even even agents that you know are, are as happy as they can be where they're at, they just may not have the ability to do training right now that they want to do. And so, just kind of as a as an overall protection of our industry and, and just keeping agents sharp and everything, you know, just take them take somebody up on it. Just just use it and use it for the for the knowledge and that you can you know, um, just kind of continue to, to brush and, and brush up on real estate and what's going on now and talking to people that are within those meetings um, from other, other markets. I've been able to, you know, reach out to some people that are in the New York market. I, I talked to somebody that was um, an EXP in a, in a um, San Francisco market and they, it's just a, a way to see, cause usually, you know, in your market, it may be, you may be a couple weeks behind somebody else's. And so you can kind of forecast what's going to happen in your market by learning what's happening in these other markets around the country. And so just having a conversation with some of the people around campus that you may not have had an opportunity to do um, has been, you know, I think it's kind of cool to get to do that a little bit. I'm going to see into the future a little. So well, and well, just seeing how people are handling the transition on and, and it's still getting business done right now, um, different parts of the country and how they're being creative. And uh, they're just getting different perspectives, I think is so important. And I'm like you, like, I've been so busy not being able to take advantage of stuff. I, I do teach in the world a bunch, but I haven't been able to take a lot of classes. And so this like has, has helped us slow down and say, okay, well, you know, how can I make sure that I take advantage of it too? So. Right. Yeah, I talked to somebody that was in a market that they'd been shut down for uh, three or four weeks, um, they said, and not had, had to have a stay home. And they gave all kinds of great ideas that I never thought of on how to how to market their listings um, to people, whether it be, you know, the next door app or, or um, some Facebook marketplace stuff, just some things that I had never really thought about doing. We never had the need to do um, and was just talking to them. And they said, we've got multiple offers and we're not even allowed to leave our house right now. And so uh, <laughs> uh, just, just learning those things from those people in different markets has been huge. Um, I think. That's awesome. Well, Hey, I got a question. Uh, this is probably more geared for Matt and Evan, you know, as far as, you know, um, what do y'all think that EXP is going to do in, in the Auburn market? Well, I think with these, with seeing some of these agents that came over, um, obviously we've had other people reach out and I'm sure they have too, um, just asking about EXP and, and the benefits of EXP and, um, you know, and, and seeing that we're, we are still getting to train a little bit and, and our agents are getting to train a little bit. And um, so I think there's, there's some curiosity out there on what's, uh, what EXP is all about. And I think that's, you know, that's probably going to be a telltale sign of the growth just because once they do find out what it's about, that's when, yeah, I mean, they, they start to be interested. So um, I can see it being, you know, uh, have a pretty large market here. Yeah. I mean, just like with anything new, it, it scares people. Um, you know, people are scared of the new. And then when they start seeing, you know, seasoned agents as these ladies that moved over and, uh, and high production agents, 
Um, they're going to start looking into it. They're looking into it now. Like I said, they're just, they're just scared of something new. And, and the more people that come to EXP and the word gets out of what, what a great company it is um, and how they're on the forefront of, of this, you know, kind of virtual world where they're training and things like that, it's just going to continue to grow. I'd like to say that right after we completed the onboarding process, I mean, maybe two to three days, I had someone approach me interested in information. And so it was so simple to go to the marketing center and easily send information, really professional, great information. Absolutely. What I'm hearing from you already is that you have learned where your resources are and you're using them because I know a lot of agents at EXP for months now probably wouldn't know how to find the marketing center. So. <laughs> and, you know, it is so easy. Once you figure out where everything is, um, they provide so many great things Uh for us that we can easily say, sure, you want some information, a very non-hassle way. Here, here you go. Here's it all, everything you need to know in writing and uh, good for you for learning that and going and getting it. We've learned a lot in a short amount of time. <laughs> well, and it is overwhelming and um, very transparent by that. Like, um, uh, everybody does need to know there's just a lot coming at you every day and uh, a lot of it is through email and you don't know which one to do first so um, it can be um, then once you're on the other side of it you're like oh this is this is easy <laughs> so bad <laughs> yeah. but it, I mean at first you're like okay it's a little overwhelming <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. so, well, so that being new we knew that people would be approaching us and asking us questions and we wanted to be prepared for that as well you know that was a big um texting stream for a while is what do we tell people when they ask what, what do we send them and so um we wanted to be well versed and sending them correct information because it's something new and something different and so everyone's like what is this so, right and you're getting more questions because um, it's so good for an agent who is in business, who definitely, even if you're serious about your career and making smart business decisions, this company is amazing um, with all of the opportunities it offers. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be in business with y'all and to, to have this kind of platform for us, for sure. We so. appreciate you, Jenny. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Well, well, I hope that other people will start, um, you know, being curious. I, I, there could be a misconception. I don't know that we just call people up and text them and, and you know, uh, uh, are so crazy that we're just recruit, recruit, recruit. And really, that's not how we operate. Um, we are first and foremost, we got to sell some houses, right? Right. <laughs> we have got to help our clients first and uh they they're the ones who matter um more than anybody and then uh, uh as people ask us questions um we're very committed to never hounding anybody so if you do have some interest in learning more about the benefits and how it can benefit you because it does have to be a fit then um these ladies uh, uh, are available and um, just send them a facebook message and just say okay give me the deets <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, Matt, Evan, do y'all want to talk about, um, you know, where we think that, um, you know, market share in Auburn will be as we're continuing to grow? Um, I hope 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. No, uh, I really do feel confident that it's going to grow, um, especially during this time. Um, you know, I don't know how many of you that were, you know, here in the 2008, uh, you know, market crash. Um, that's, you know, during those downtimes is when you see, um, you know, your different companies, you know, either, you know, go under or get out of the business, different agents get out of the business or those that make their moves. And, and I think during this time is when we're going to see a lot of uh, brokerages and especially independent brokerages who may not be able to keep up with, with the, the times to, to go ahead and make those moves, especially to a company that is as forefront, and I keep saying that, but it is as EXP, um, especially with the education and the growth opportunities. 
Yeah, I think with um, you know, like Matt said, with the with the technology and and the the, the financial opportunities you have with the and the, the less overhead with the no office and the the less fees and things like that, you know, um, it's kind of that right now is in real estate it's kind of that um, survive to thrive mode that that a lot of agents are in, and so. You know, if the the lower your fees, the lower your overhead, obviously the the little longer your survival is going to be, and the longer you survive, you know, the, the opportunity you have to thrive in the future. So, um, you know, I think that's going to be something that uh, a lot of agents are going to be curious about, at least um, in our market, is how can we how can we survive long enough to to thrive. So, um, and if they, you know, ask if they ask message any of these people on this video right here, um, you know, we can help to to show them how to survive a little longer uh, through this company. Absolutely. Well, you know, we're um, at, at least in Birmingham, we're focused on growing uh, to a 25% market share by 2025. So um, hopefully y'all take uh, that, that yeah. vision as well in Auburn and like go that. for 25% market share down there. I definitely think it's possible. So um you know, it's, uh, I'm excited to be, um, you know, financially aligned and partnered with all of y'all. Uh, I'm here to, to help, uh, you know, uh, with your success and growth. And um, I'm just really excited about everything going on in Auburn. Yeah, me too. So we. Here are too. <laughs> Any other uh, final thoughts as we say goodbye for the day? <laughs> well, tell us about the number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So that's Great exciting. Call. Right. Yes. So according to Real Trends, uh, which is a national publication that tracks a lot of real estate data, uh, EXP was named the number one independent brokerage in the country. So that is so cool. Awesome. Um, very impressive. Uh, we're the number three brokerage out of all companies. And I really do think uh, in the next couple of years, we'll be number one there too. So mm -hmm. Uh, awesome. we're, we're considered independent because we're a stock owned company We're we're agent owned. And, um, so that's why we are uh, considered an independent. And, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's growing like crazy. I remember when I looked at it, uh, seriously about three years ago, there was 2,200 agents and now there's 28,000 agents. And, uh, what is crazy and now, and, and, uh, actual long -term, long term uh projections is there's probably going to be about 400,000 agents at EXP. So wow. we are early on. So that's what's cool about it. Awesome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, yeah. So uh, I hope anybody watching out there, especially an agent, uh, reach out to this group here. Uh, get your free passport to uh, to the EXP world, and that's where all the uh, online education is, virtual education. Um, great presenters. I know Jenny has been in there plenty of times, uh, you know, doing courses and, uh, we appreciate her and everything that she does. And of course, Gusty as well. And, and, uh, yeah, just reach out and, uh, one, welcome these agents and then, uh, get your uh, free education. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Yes. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Thank y'all for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks Gusty. Thanks Jenny. Thanks ladies. <laughs>